this issue of managing during crisis, I think has some important things. The first one is remembering that the entire organization and those around you um, will cue off of you. And so your level of uh, anxiety is just going to get to reverberate throughout the organization and accelerate uh, in terms of that. So making sure that you are a part of helping everyone. These are challenging situations and you need to be a, a, an important part of the calmness and, and the ensuring everyone we will work through and we're going to be okay. And that I think is one important thing. The second important thing is really um, being able to focus on, okay, what are the core measures we need to get out of this? And really getting that, the sense of it, I can remember putting together the Ebola dashboard uh, with the head of USAID and the head of CDC. And they weren't necessarily always agreeing, but we had to get to where, because usually in crisis, you're going to have to work in teams and you're going to have to work across teams. So getting that clarity on, okay, here's what our priorities are. We're all agreeing so that people can go off and do their parts and work together. And that's a third element of this cri of crisis um, leadership that I believe is important, is how you bring a team together to work together. When people are extremely tired, when people are nervous, when they're under strain and stress. And so how you bring a team together to both, uh, you know, have one plus one equal three in terms of that ability to bring people together. When it's a hard when people are, are worried, when people are strained, when people are stressed, they may not be at their best, but you all have to think your best of each other uh, and work as a team. And you need to figure out how to do that as a leader to make that happen. Mm -hmm.